Okay, hey people, today we're going to go over how to manage your data in terms of the number of cases. Say you know for a fact, or you may not know for a fact that you have some duplicate records in here. Duplicate records are records in which you have, um, for example, the same ID variable, right? So here we have two twice and we have six twice, right? And say you're running a statistical test that requires one record per person, you could decide, okay, I'm going to only keep those records, the very first record for each person. Okay, you've, you've inspected it. You see that there's two records. I'm only going to keep the very first one. So you would go to data, identify duplicate cases, I've already moved over ID. So ID, I'm gonna pick the first ID for each person. So I'll say first case in each group is the primary. So what it should do is flag the first case in each group. Then I say, okay to this. And you see how it will give you, um, there's two people who have duplicates because Got two people that have duplicates. We already established that. So now, if I want to remove these duplicate cases, right, I will go to select cases. If condition is satisfied, and I'm going to say, Primary equals one, because I want to select only the cases where primary is equal to one. Now, see down here, it says filter out unselected cases. I would initially choose this to see, well, what does SPSS have and uh, what is, is, is it going to do? Is it going to choose primary first equal to one, or is it going to choose primary first equal to zero? So I like to kind of test this out first before I actually hit this delete unselected cases. So this first round, okay, you're not gonna see anything in the output window, but here you see that, okay, its plan is to pull out two, right? And four. So row two and row four, which is exactly what we want. That's, those are the, the, uh, the two that, that SPSS will remove. And we could stop here and then just go ahead and analyze our data, but I rather remove them all together. So I'll go back and I'll choose delete unselected cases, say okay to this. And then here you go. So now you have all one record per patient and you could go ahead and do whatever it is you need to do. The other use for this delete selected cases button, let's see if this will, well, I don't, I don't want to tempt, tempt fate here. <laughs> but the other thing you could have done, if you wanted to, say you finish entering data and you want to make sure that the entire row is unique, right? So in other words, you did not enter the same person twice all the way across. So what you could also do is not just look at the ID, but you could look at the other variables as well and make sure that they are not duplicate cases, right? And we know what the result will be here, but let's just do it for, you know, for kicks. Let's call this primary two because this is the first, the second time we're doing this. All right, so let's say okay to this. Got it. Okay, so everybody is unique here. But say we had a case where, say person number one is exactly the same, right? Then when we, and let's get rid of 
this primary first. Go back in here. We've chosen all of the value, all the variables, and we're choosing the first case as our case, right? And we can hit OK. And we see that there's one duplicate case, right? So if you were entering data, you spent all day entering this data, and then only to find out that you entered somebody in twice. You guys might have pieces of paper or case report forms or whatever you have, and you're entering from it. It's very easy to think, oh, or you make a mistake and say, oh, let me enter this again. Maybe I, I, I don't know if I entered it. Let me enter it again. So here you could identify any cases where you have that this one is the duplicate case, right? So any cases where you've entered in someone twice. A long time ago, and this is just an aside, um, and I don't know if people still do this, but there is this thing called double data entry. Double data entry is when you have two different people um, enter the data. So uh, what you would do is you'd have two separate files. One file would be you know, entered by one person, the other would be entered by another person. And then you would merge the files together and check for, check your double data entry and make sure that uh, the test values or whatever you're entering in the parameters are identical, right? So in that instance, you want all of the entries to have a pair where the value is entered in the same way. And then what you would do is like in SPSS, you could identify the first occurrence of the record as your original occurrence. And then you would get rid of all the duplicates. And it's just a way to, to ensure that if there is some sort of um, a case that doesn't match where the lab test or, or whatever was entered in incorrectly, you could verify that entry on the paper, okay? I don't, I don't know if people still do that, but that's another purpose for using this um, identify duplicate cases. So this was just a short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.